everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a card that is landscape on large screens and vertical on phones. Let's get into it. First, I'll get my boilerplate with Emmett by pressing the exclamation point in Visual Studio Code. I'll name this Happy Birthday, and in the body, I will create a div called card. Now, this card, I want to have a white background. So I'm going to say background white, we'll make it, let's say F, FD, FD, okay, it'll be like a light gray, and we'll make the, we'll make it have rounded corners, border, radius, say four pixels. We also need to make the body have a display grid, and we we'll want the car to be centered, so I'll say place, items, center. I'll set the background color of the body. We'll say, uh, make it 008888 for now. We can change that. And also we'll make the height of the body be 100 viewport height. So we'll say height 100 VH. And also we'll need to set the margin to zero so it doesn't go over. Now let's see what this looks like. I'll open it on a live server with the live server extension. Now we'll need to include the CSS. So I'll say link with style sheet. href will be index.css. And now let's look at our page again. Now we get a teal background. Now this card, it also should be larger. So let's make it have a height of 85 times the viewport height and a width of 85 viewport width. And now I get this card showing up over here. Let's add a shadow. This is a custom shortcut I made that will have a shadow with an offset of zero in the x direction and three in the y direction and have a blur of six and a transparent-ish black and it's also two shadows here we have like a kind of like material design sort of look there now that we have this card let's put some content in here so i have this image uh, which is called birthday.svg and i'll make the alt text like um birthday and if we load this it'll be over here very large, so we'll need to adjust that. I'll say class equals birthday, and in here I will say image dot birthday. I'll say max height of 40 viewport height. Now it's a little bit smaller, and let's align this in the center. I'll say text align center. And now let's get some text. So I'll say dot text inside of here. I'll make an H1 and I'll say happy birthday. Okay, and then after that, I'll make some paragraphs. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And then I'll have another paragraph. I will say Jonah Lawrence, and I'll add a class here of muted because I want it to be a slightly lighter color. And I'll say dot muted, I'll say opacity 0.8. Now let's get some fonts in here. I have a shortcut for getting fonts. I'll get open sans, and now I'll need to just Add that font over here. I'll say font family open sans and we'll say fall back on sans serif. Now we got our text in open sans font. Let's make the content centered inside of this card. So to do that, we can make this a, um, a grid as well. I'll actually make a, a flex box. I'll make, I'll say display flex and we want the flex direction initially at least, to be column. So this will display this on the top and this on the bottom. And now to align it 
you would just say justify content center and it will center it in the flex box. Now let's say we want a little bit more space in the bottom than we have on the top. We can do that by adding like some space. We can say div class equals space and we'll just add some height to that. So it's dot space. We'll say height 100 pixels. Now this looks good if we um, make it bigger, make it smaller. Since the width of this container is based on the width of the page, it will always resize based on the size of the window. Now let's say we want to align on the right side when we have a large screen. So let's make it when it's a larger than a thousand pixels, it will put the image on the right side. So to do that, we can say at media only screen and min width a thousand pixels. Now inside of here, we can define things that will happen only when the minimum width of the screen is a thousand pixels. So in here we can say dot card flex direction row reverse. Now row would mean that you'd have the picture on the left and the text on the right, but row reverse will put the text on the left and the picture on the right. So now if we make it bigger, we'll see that you know, that's what happens. We have the text on the left and the picture on the right. And it changes when we make the screen larger. Now let's make sure that this card is also has everything centered. We can say align item center. And now let's say we want this picture to be bigger. We can say image dot birthday. Let's say max height of let's say 50 viewport height. Let's add another selector here. And now we have a larger image. We need some more padding around this text. So I'll say dot text padding. Let's say 1 em. And let's try to space this out a little bit more. Okay, so let's make this be a little bit smaller. We'll say like say 50%. So I'm gonna get the text all in one line over here. And we can put space between to make them a little bit further apart, which is just the con space between. And let's also put more padding on this card. Say like padding 1 em. I'll move this space between. I think it's okay if it's centered. Now let's see what happens when it gets small in this direction. You see that it's no longer, the text is no longer centered because we have this additional space over here. Let's put this outside of the text div. And now that, should, that looks fine. Like this, it's vertical. Like this, it's horizontal. If it gets too small, we just shrink the image. Let's make this actually max width instead of max height. Width 100%, max width of 50 viewport width. We have max height is 40. So we say max height unset. There's no maximum here. We can set a maximum of 50 viewport width over here. Oh, it looks a little bit better, but we also want to make sure that the overflow doesn't go outside this box. So that we can do by saying overflow hidden. Now it's contained to this box. Now we have this card, it has a big image on the right side, and we have a large screen. When we get a smaller screen, it collapses it. And if we get extremely small, we'll start cutting off from the edges. And it still looks fine. Let's say we make the width a little bit less, and we'll get a little bit more margin on the outside. And on a phone, it would look about like this, and on a computer, it looks like this. And if we get like a phone and landscape, we still get this um, on the top, 
and there isn't really much space for it. So let's say if we have a small screen, like the it's not very high, then we can just move to the horizontal layout as well. So I'm going to copy this, the screen only min width a thousand, but I'll also say when we have a max height of 640 pixels, then we'll also apply this so we'll have a horizontal view within this layout as well. So here we have our horizontal layout. If we go up, we get the vertical layout. And on a large screen, we get our horizontal layout. Now let's add some transitions just for fun. Let's apply to everything inside the card and say card star dot card star. Um, we'll say transition 0 0.2 seconds ease in out and we'll apply it to everything. So now when the image changes size we see it grow slowly kind of like stretches and shrinks. And we can also apply that to everything if we put a star here then even the size of the div will be gradually changing. So I'll put that at the top, that we're applying a transition to everything, and that it will do a transition effect instead of just snapping directly to it. So now we have a card that's vertical on phones and horizontal on a large computer like a desktop. I hope this video is helpful. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.